What's going on guys, welcome to the part 7 of my 3D printed 8 scale Toyota Supra. In the previous video we worked on the steering wheel and now it's working very good, I'm really happy about it. But in today's video we will be working on the clutch because it will have a manual transmission and a clutch. Here I have the clutch and the arm for the clutch. After I made all these test prints, right now I have the final print. I will upload the file once I test them if they are working the way I want it. So here are the parts for the clutch, that's the clutch, that's the hub that holds the bearing and that's the arm. For the arm we will need two M3 bolts with the nut, the nut will be inserted here and one bearing. This bearing is 10mm by 4mm by 5mm the insert and the clutch will be connected with one M5 bolt, the nut goes in there and the other end will go to the drive shaft or maybe I will connect it right to the manual transmission. Here's what we have for the manual transmission. And we have another update. I already designed and 3D printed the front strut brace that will go here. And after I 3D print a new chassis, the one right now I'm printing, I will put these on and right now they are fitting perfectly and that sound was the spring hitting the upper arm like you can hear it but i thought that i'm not gonna drive like this because right now it's too low but when you drive it the servo will push it down and right now you don't hear anything but it was annoying that this spring hitting the arm so i designed a new one that i cut these sharp corners right now it's round and that spring not gonna hit that so i will fit them once i 3d print another chassis right now it's been almost one day that i'm 3d printing with these printers you always have a clogging nozzle and all these problems i had to print the chassis with two failed prints and this one right now after replacing the nozzle right now it's printing well but if you want to skip all the headache and 3D print the perfect part, head over to PCBWay.com. PCBWay offering CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. You just have to put the file and choose the material and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay's link will be in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Alright, the reason I designed and 3D printed these front tower strut brace, I saw a bit of clay on these servos, even it's not that much and I'm sure you can't see it, but I just wanted a support from this servo to here that it holds these shocks and that's why I designed this just like a real car. So when I finish 3D printing the front chassis and the back chassis, I will mount these. Alright, back to the clutch. We will need two M3 bolts and one bearing and one M5 bolt. We're gonna assemble that together and put it over there. And then we will assemble the transmission. We have a manual transmission here. I also ordered the servo for gear shifting. So we will put that as well. It also comes with its metal mount and the servo. So we will assemble everything together. Alright, here is the clutch, it's all assembled. I also put two bearings here on the arm. And if you're wondering if this is gonna get warm and melt up, yeah of course after i test print it i will resin print it with resin printing it will be brittle and it will wear out every time do a clutch just like real car and now i'm gonna assemble it it will go exactly here i will have to remove this bolt and put this one on but i have to put a washer on it a one millimeter washer will be good and then i will put this one here after that we're gonna assemble the servo mount that's for the clutch this one will be pulling the arm, but that's for later. I'm gonna have to pull this bolt out and maybe put another one, one centimeter longer and then put it back. All right, I just assembled the clutch and right now 
it's good but i'm not satisfied about it because with the maintenance it's not gonna be an easy fix if you break an arm or if you want to change the clutch you're gonna have to disassemble the steering arm as well and what i'm thinking i have to redesign this mount so the bolt will be from underneath and the stud comes out so if you want to change this arm you only have to remove the nut from here and it comes out without taking the whole bolt out and it will loosen up all the arm so that's what i'm gonna do so basically the design will be like this uh, i will redesign this and this bolt will comes out from underneath so it will be like this and the nut will be here so every time it will be and damage on this arm you're gonna have to remove the nut and this arm will comes out all right now i'm gonna put the mount and put the servo on so we can see how it's working okay i just put the mount and i put two bolts because it will be temporary maybe i'll remove it later after i finish everything i'll put all the bolts in and right now i'm gonna put the servo in as well and then i will put an arm and connect it with this and test out Alright, for the clutch, these servos comes with arm like this, so I made adapter, so it holds this rod and I can put a spring and a nut over here, then it will be adjustable. Now I will put this one over here and yeah, put two screws in like this and then I will put it over there. Right, so far so good the clutch working very good I had to put that spring over there it's gonna push that clutch and it's gonna give it a protection to that arm so it's not gonna break but what is good about this transmitter that you can put end point and starting point with this so that's why I'm using this one but for now it's working very good but I still have to put that transmission together and make a mount so we can put it over there and connect it with that clutch Alright, for now the manual transmission all assembled, I'm gonna make a mount and I would like to put it here and give it some space so we can put a dog bone over here and with the front part I'm gonna have to put a drive shaft over there so it can connect with the clutch and the transmission. I'm thinking about something like this with these drive shafts can move uh, so whenever it clutches it can move and not going to be fixed but this is a good idea I'm going to use this drive shaft and I'm going to have to make a mount here so I can put a bearing but overall this is how it looks but I'm going to have to figure out how to put the servo here so it can change the three gears the bad thing about this one it doesn't have reverse it's only three gears and I'm thinking I have to do something about it and make a reverse I have seen so many videos on YouTube some guys put a gear over here so it can have a reverse as well but let's make a mount and put that here and we're gonna figure out that later next video I'm gonna update the steering mount so we can put the bolt underneath and we will only have the nut here so if we break this arm or the steering arm we can replace it without taking the bolt out so far the project going very well we finished the steering the clutch the air suspension all that are completely done and i think the chassis almost done i'm printing the last one the one i already uploaded the file 
By the way, the file in the video description box below on Cults 3D and on my Patreon. Hope you guys enjoying the project. If you are new here, I will put the playlist in the video description box below so you can catch up how I started this project. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.